Well, the main reason that is actually quite some years back when I was watching like a little child, the games between Russia and Czech Republic. And it was always so emotionally and so strong. And then I came here to into Czech Republic and I found out that me as a person not playing hockey or never experienced hockey like daily, like a professional, just like, like on recreation, I have no possibility to do it. And there is nothing existing where I can go with my company to. So something so typically for Czech Republic, I said, I want to try it out. So we had uh, called some of the biggest agencies in Germany and we tried it out with Sparta Prague, renting equipment from them and so on. And we found that the event itself, these emotions on ice, is great. You go out, you do something you maybe never did before, you even don't know how to skate, but you're packed in all this equipment uh, protecting you. If you fall, it's soft, it's not wet, it's not cold. And the emotion you get very fast while you're not scared because it doesn't hurt. You have a very strong and fast uh, learning process. We worked out a system how to actually put a top class incentive, and that is what it is, for people who never played hockey, for girls, for male, for persons all over the world. We have Malaysians, we had English, we have French, and they are not really known that they play hockey. But of course we have also Slovak, we have Czech, we have Russians, Americans and Canadians trying it. And doing these events all over with our quality equipment, we have 150 players uh, equipment, we have about 10 goalie equipments, we have about 400 skates now. And the hockey equipment gets disinfected and dry cleaned after every use. The skates get disinfected, cleaned, and resharpened after every use. Uh, we have top Nike Bauer equipment. And this love to detail that you actually get there, everything is prepared, up to 150 people makes a big difference. We are coming from a feel of service and not a feel of just sport. So we focus on the client, we help him slowly coming up and we don't expect anything. He comes there in a suit, he gets in the clock room, his entire bag in front of him, blue with his name on it, the logo of his company. They all look inside what kind of pieces they have and uh, trying to put it on, then we put it all together. We are getting uh, all this team uh, introduced. So that means to get uh, a person who shows it in front of you, you take it on and then off you go. Well, Action on Ice is, as you said, not only hockey. Still, it is a big part of it, but we do have a lot of other activities around. As we do team building activities up to 1,000 people, we have other elements like Einstock schießen, curling, we have all these side elements, this team building, um, synchronized skating, fun teams, we have this bob, uh, bob uh, towing, we have the malamut on ice, we have, we have a lot of things around and of course it's not only team building, trainings and fun activities, but it is as well gala dinners up to two and a half thousand people, product presentations on ice, ice sculpturing and so on. So there is a lot of things we can incorporate depending your time and uh, your needs.